terrorism analyst. He's our go-to guy in all this. Um, eight, they're saying eight packages, maybe a ninth package addressed to Joe Biden uh, sent to uh, Delaware. Uh, Brad Garrett, take us through what is the FBI doing right now trying to find out who did this? Well, they're going to run a lot of, 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 of tracks, obviously, at the same time, investigative leads. The bombs uh, could be, uh, you know, a wealth of information, both from forensics, DNA, fingerprints, hairs and fibers. The uniqueness of the bomb is that it is it the type of bomb, if in fact it's actually a real bomb. We still don't know the answer to that. Uh, and is have they ever seen a bomb like this before? Now, if you take that information and see what you can get out of that, and then you start figuring out how we got the packages to these locations, maybe delivered in person, maybe used a courier, maybe actually placed them into the mail stream. These are all junctures where you're going to be able to see CCTV uh, and maybe even get a description of somebody. Then you will take that, McGraw, and start looking, at, obviously at the same time, of who is in the Secret Service's database of making threats previously. Perhaps not with bombs, but just making threats. And these kind of guys typically are really mad. And their sort of ability to spew out inappropriately their anger about, obviously in this case, of Democrats, uh, is going to, you know, he has said that to somebody before. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think it was this morning's package to Robert De Niro's uh, office in uh, New York City that they're showing a, a, a clip of the package. It looks like it wasn't postmarked. So the the yeah. stamps weren't sort of used, if you will. So that sort of connotes that uh, that somebody dropped it off. Well, of course. And that, like I said earlier, that gives you the potential of CCTV. I mean, could he have paid somebody? Sure. Go drop this package off at Location X. Yeah. And they did. Um, so, yeah, but again, that is, could potentially be a weak link, at least for him. So it, there's a lot for them to be following up on. So I'd be surprised if they don't figure out who he is in, in fairly short order. Yeah. The other thing, too, is uh, they kind of have to figure out who it is, right? Because you don't want something like this to go unpunished. Well, uh, of course not. And you don't want these devices to keep uh, showing up. And, of course, the problem is that until you figure out who he is, you don't know where the next package is going to be, you know, or who already has a package and they're not aware that they have it. Yeah. What, uh, from, from your watching the news, how dangerous are these bombs to begin with? Well, it, it remains to be seen. I've had conversations with people that would suggest, just looking at the pictures who are bomb techs, that it's really not wired right. Uh, typically, you don't put a clock uh, on the bomb itself. Uh, that's kind of something you would see in the movies. Um, so I don't know. I think uh, you know they're they're keeping that close to the vest, and I would too. You know, only because you don't want people to get casual about this. You want people to call you uh, with that with that tip that's going to lead you to his doorstep. Mm. Uh, Brad Garrett, ABC News crime and terrorism analyst. Thanks, thank you, Brad, for the insights. Good stuff. Take care.